Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Uj, and of course, we are back. How y'all doing today? All right, so there is a lot on today's plate. It's Sunday at the time of this recording. New chapters are out. We're finally here. Chapter 67 of Dragon Ball Super. Um, and I'm actually going to be using manga, or excuse me, manga plus by Shueisha, which is, I guess you could consider it like the parent of Viz in, uh, in consideration that Viz, of course, publish publishes and translates um, officially. But weirdly enough, Manga Plus by Shueisha, which again, Shueisha is above Viz and Jump because Shueisha pretty much owns, well, not they don't own Viz, but they, they definitely own Shonen Jump. Um, they also have the chapters available in English. So it's kind of weird that sometimes you might find chapters go up here before they actually go up on Viz. I don't know how that necessarily works, but the only reason why we're using this site today is because Viz, at the time when I went to load up the chapter, the site crashed. So I don't know if that's an indication that the chapters were that fire or I don't know, because a lot of people must be flocking to the website right now trying to read whatever is out. There's a lot of manga that came out today including dragon ball super and boruto so enough translate or enough hype or enough like you know exp explanation again just another quick reminder that i will be definitely hitting these filters extra hard because boruto got hit for some weird reason and i'm really not trying to dispute it because there's a risk of getting sued in that um and considering that a lot of the other obviously the other chapters uh reactions are done in the same fashion so uh, if it's a little bit, if the, the if the crop is a lot smaller and it's way more transparent, you guys know why. And as always, um, again, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting as always. Oh, and last thing, um, apparently the algorithm of YouTube is being, of course, weird as always. If for those that are not getting the notifications, or even if you are, Please just do me a favor and kind of refresh your sub by unsubbing, resubbing, and hitting that alert. So that way, I'm definitely showing up in your feed because, again, it's very weird to see YouTube go through the motions, you know, as always. But, you know, for the foreseeable future, just keep those things in mind if, for whatever reason, you're not seeing any uploads uh, from me on this channel. So, as, as always, let's get right into it. All right, so Dragon Ball chapter, Dragon Ball Super chapter sixty-seven, happy endings, and then so we've been getting hyped up here, and we're getting ready for the next arc. Um, if you've been watching Big Brother, Bro <laughs> if you've been watching Big Brother Geekdom, he has been, of course, keeping us all in tune, and you know he's been getting us with all of the latest and greatest news with Dragon Ball and whatnot, and he's been clarifying things. Um, and he did um, put out there that this arc is directly connected to the Moro arc. So it's not like there's going to be any kind of time skip. And of course, we're not at the end of Z yet, which I will definitely uh, make a video about after this. So if you please look forward to that one, um, if you're watching this now, because I'm, I'm going to cover something that I haven't seen literally anybody on Twitter or on YouTube, at least talking about, and I feel like this is pretty important because we have another issue on our hands with this series. So let's actually start reading. You did it, Goku! You're the best. That was a real nail biter. Glad you're still with us, Dad. Hmm, Vegeta, he ain't happy. He's that that face literally says this guy got the win again. Moro is completely gone. He won. Goku won. Yay, everyone's happy. Well, well, it's finally over. Woohoo. Even the even the yard rats, they 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 sense it too. We, he won. Well fought indeed, Vegeta and Goku. Great, I can finally leave. <laughs> Kakarot. Care to tell us where that final massive burst of power came from? Oh yeah. Um, I'm not actually too sure myself. Guess there's still someone else amazing here on Earth. Of course. Yeah, I didn't think he would know anyway. Don't give me that. Surely you know who they are. Tell me now, Kakura. I think we'll all find out in due time, probably. Tch. Ooh, thank you. You are the savior of the universe. My man is the savior of the universe before he even... Damn, that's OD. Anyway, okay. Uh, I still don't have a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> who are you anyway, mister? 
Think of me as your kin, I suppose. Haha, <laughs> no way, we don't look alike at all. Farewell. And then he just vanished. He flew and went poof. Was, was all of that a dream? <laughs> Yo, Oob out here is literally the MVP, doesn't even realize it. And then, like, he saves the world, doesn't even realize it. And then he's just, like, thinking like he's hallucinating. I mean, honestly, if some crazy stuff like that happened, I'd probably not be in disbelief as well. Great Lord of Lords, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you for working to save our planet. Ooh, then he turned right back into Boo. Boo! Hi, Hercule! No, I'm not going to do the voices, sorry. Welcome home, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Thank goodness, you're safe. <laughs> I can't do Hercule. Uh, huh? I was always here, just sleeping, but now I'm really hungry. Uh-oh. He has no memory of his time as the great Lord of Lords. Damn, that's crazy. There's no better time than now for a homecoming feast. I'll have my chief whip up a whole smor smorgasbord. Hooray! And you're all welcome to join us. Damn, that's a lot of mouse to feed, but, you know, Hercule got that money, so he's, he's chilling. The garden at Hercule's house. So look at that. Of course, Goku eating that chicken. Uh, at least that's, that's what it looks like. Baby Pan's getting fed. Wow, Pan, Pan's hair grew. Look, Goten and Trunks. They're probably mad at Gohan. They're probably yelling at him right now because they're like, you guys didn't tell us about nothing that was going on, and we was left high and dry and didn't do nothing besides fight for sell juniors. Look at that. Everyone's enjoying their time. That's dope. Oh, look at that. Goku in the in the in the in the joggers, the sweatpants. Alright. I fucks with it. Oh, it looks like he's gonna send Dende back to Namek? Oh no no no! That's not Dende. That's uh uh I forget his name, but that's the uh, that's the other young uh that's the other young Namekian. Um, I totally forget. Maybe we'll find. Uh, uh, is that Eska? Yeah. After saying his goodbyes, Eska returned to Planet Namek. The power of the resurrected Dragon Balls restored the planets caught uh, in Moro's wake and revived the beings who who'd been killed. So Paranga literally revived everything. Planet Zoon. And so, the universe was back to the way it was, except for a certain angel trainee. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Several days later. All right, so we were maybe maybe a week in, possibly, right? What's all this about some celery? Got any meat instead? I said ceremony. They're honoring us with medals for being the crew that showed Moro who's boss. Doesn't sound like my kind of thing. You idiot. There's no greater honor. Medals are the mark of the true elite. Oh, so how many do you have, Jacko? This will be my first. <laughs> That's what's up. So Jacko's finally about to be recognized as an elite. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. They have an actual ceremony and everyone's around. They're applauding. Well done indeed. One and all. Goku, I thank you for slaying Moro. No prob. Uh, you're grabbing my... Are you... <laughs> Yo. Why do they do this? I can't believe they really... Dude, they, 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 they approve this kind of type of humor? You're grabbing my junk on purpose, aren't you? And now, to name the honorees. Son Goku. Vegeta the Fourth. Wow, they're recognizing him as the Fourth. Majin Buu, Jacko Teramen Ten P Bushi. How do you, what? Why does he have such a crazy last name? That's me. Psh, why is your name so long? Why does it matter? And finally, hmm, there's someone else. Miris, now known as Miris Ikanoichiya Boshi. Huh? What? Miris? How is that possible? Goku Vegeta, I'm so glad to see you again. How are you alive? Didn't you cease to exist? Yes, I did cease to exist. As an angel, that is. Are you for real? They pulled this this is how they did this? This is this is the oh uh, do you okay guys in the comments, do you consider this an ass pull? Or do you consider this something that they kind of they kind of just went right over our heads? It was something that was like very simple, down to the most simplest of explanations, and yet we didn't even think about that. I can tell you, no one thought about this. 
I can tell you, and if they did, they're li- if they said they did, they're lying. Because with everything that's been going on and how, like, people like myself have been predicting all the events that happened how they have, when they say wiped from existence, everybody's going to make the assumption, not even the assumption, but everyone's going to gonna have that understanding that wiped from existence means done. Like, that's it. No more. Not even the Dragon Balls can wish you back. And Miris literally would wipe wipe from existence means you just take get your angel powers taken away well let's see exactly the the the, the true an, uh, explanation a few days earlier so there goes Beerus and Whis before uh the uh the um the, the Whis's daddy you two should have some idea of why you've been summoned uh, yeah but i had nothing to do with this mess this was Whis's doing Damn, he's throwing Whis under the bus I certainly did not expect Mirrors to violate our angel laws. Alas, I was wrong to place him under your care. My deepest apologies. Ordinarily, it is the fate of law-breaking angels to vanish from existence forever. That said, I personally eradicated Mirrors temporarily before resurrecting him as a mortal. So only he... Okay. So this is on some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. And let me explain. In Yu-Gi-Oh, and I used to play, but I haven't in recent years because... That's another video. That's another explanation. That's that's a I've said this on stream plenty of times, but you kids can whatever. Anyway, uh, when they when, like cards that are go to the graveyard are always in play. Cards that get, say they get removed from play or banished, they're not really banished because they're always gonna have some type of effect to bring shit like that back into play anyway. So unless you rip that shit up, it's still it's still good. And I'm sure even at that point, you got tape. So there's always going to be some kind of workaround, even when they make it seem like these are the rules and there's no going back or reversing things. But as you can see, these higher deities, they have powers unlike, you know, they're probably stronger than that of the Dragon Balls at that case, because think about it. This is this is the, the highest deity below Zenosama, right? And they just explained to us, they had us all thinking like, okay, this is how it works. When you get ex- ex- you get wiped as a damn freaking uh, angel, then that's it. But even, but look, you, you, you know that they can get revived. So that means right off the bat that the planets that got wiped, the universes that got wiped could also be revived. Just food for thought. Let me continue reading now. What? Uh... He now has a lifespan and his angel powers are gone. There was simply no other way to save him. So angels don't have lifespans. They just, they're, they're immortal. That's fire. That's crazy. What moved you to such mercy? Actually, it was this one who came to me willing to sacrifice his own life to save Miris's. Is that the Supreme Kai? What the hell? Thank you for res- reconsidering the matter. Kaioshin? When did you get here? It was all I could do, I'm afraid. How dare you put our lives on the chopping block? You and I are two sides of the same coin, remember? (laughs) Wow. In any case, for your involvement in this trouble, I will have to impose a penalty on the three of you. Huh? What kind of penalty? Where are they at now? Oh, they got to they got to play with the Zenos. <laughs> go, go faster. That's hilarious. They have to ride the back Horsey Beerus 121.39 Jix. Uh Horsey Kaioshin 134.04 Jix. You have to gallop faster. Y- yes, sir, as you wish. I've been meaning to give their two attendants some time off. So this is perfect. That's hilarious. You know, you gotta appreciate the humor that Dragon Ball gives. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 unlike it's unlike a lot of other humor in other mangas, but you gotta appreciate it. That's actually it's actually pretty uh it's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. Damn it, this is all Goku's fault. Miris only broke the dumb law because of him. Whis, what's Goku up to right now? Goku? My my, he appears to be partying it up with Miris and the others. At the Galactic Patrol headquarters. You're kidding me. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's awesome. That Miris is... My man Miris is back again once again. No no rest in peace, but at least 
he, you know, he he can presume his duties at the Galactic Patrol. I just wonder if he still has the same kind of strength, but he just no longer has, you know, of course, his angel prowess. I mean, I wonder if he can still kind of fight and move on the same level of as Ultra Instinct. I just, I, I really wonder, it, like, to to really understand his whole like you know, role now as a as a mortal being at this rate, if he still has the same type of powers and strength and whatnot, but he just has a lifespan, so therefore he can die like anyone else. I, I wonder. I do wonder this. Okay. Wow, so now Zenosama's bouncing up and down on Beerus. Faster, faster, gallop faster. You'll pay for this, son Goku. <laughs> With that, Goku and his friends, time, time in the Galactic Patrol was over. Peace returned to the universe. Phew. Man, just another peaceful day in the universe. Jacko, shouldn't you be on patrol? out on patrol? Hmm? Just got back from that. So for the rest of my shift, I'm on cyber patrol duty. Cyber patrol looks like an auction site to me. I've got some business at the Galactic Prison. You've clearly got some time on your hands, so you're coming with me. But you see, the thing is, I'm about to head out on patrol again. You just said you were finished. Galactic Prison. All right, here's where it starts. Hold up. Why that dude in the corner look like Kid Boo? Heya, boys. It's been a while. How's it hanging? Lots of peace and quiet. No thanks to you. Is that so? You sure you don't want to play with us? As if you're never busted now ever again. I've got a question for you guys. My squad's radar detected something resembling a faint distress signal coming from the crater left by Moro's explosion. Got any idea what that might be? Couldn't tell you. You know what he's talking about? Quioter? What the hell? How do you even pronounce that? Right. Uh, well, after an explosion that size, it couldn't, couldn't, it could have just been general interference. Hey, forget that crap. Tell them to up my rations. They're barely feeding me anything in here. Sorry, but your food portions are predetermined. We can't change that. Then just let me out of here. I want to eat till I'm stuffed. You punks are never seeing the outside of this lockup as long as you live. Just be grateful you didn't get the death penalty. Why, I oughta. Hey, Galactic Patrol guys, we haven't forgotten that you killed our pals. It was Moro who did that. Your grudge is misplaced. And Moro literally 873. Hmm. I said killed. You can't kill when ain't even alive. Destroyed then? I don't see what the difference makes. Uh-oh. Deep within that crater. Oh, snap. I see some regeneration going on in there. 73 was just another thing we stole. He was empty at first, but as time went on... We filled him with data and turned him into a powerhouse. All that hard work's gone now. He's that dangerous, huh? I'm glad he got obliterated. Oh, nah. See, look. He's doing the same thing Majin Buu's John did. Did you make sure he got trashed for good? Make sure. There was nothing left of him, just like Moro. So why waste our time? You mean you're not sure. And this is how it all begins. Oh, look. His face is... Literally being, uh, like, redone. Slap, blink, blink. Hmm, ridiculous. 7-3 is gone. Quit being sore losers. If you can't answer my question, then this conversation is over. We're leaving, Jacko. Think hard on your crimes, okay? You did examine the inside of the crater, right? What? Sure did, from above, at a glance. Then we'd better do a thorough check just in case. Well, they went right back to Earth. Well, anything? Nope, nada. No trace of Moro or 7-3 down here, down there. See, like I said, I checked. Well, the distress signal stopped. I guess it really was just interference. Um, Calamus, since we came all the way to Earth, want to snack on some cheese? What is this cheese? Oh, look at that. They These people preserved his freaking head. How did they even know? It's delicious. You also got to try this beverage called milk. <laughs> okay, I'm intrigued. All right, so now these people are running away. They went on a spaceship. They flew off. 
Okay, got my souvenir, so let's head back. Do, do you buy that much cheese and milk every visit? I can get it online, but then it's like three times as pricey. So, ah, uh, that explains your cyber patrol. Okay, so now it's now. Okay, so now our time skip is a little bit further. Now we, we went from several days to a few months later, in a far flung corner of the universe, far from Earth. Master Goichi. Who the hell is this guy? The data has been copied into all other units. Good, good, well done. All should now have equivalent capabilities. Excellent. We never expected OG73I to be powered up to this extent. A pleasant payoff for our efforts. All seemed lost when Sag Saganbo and his goons stole that one. But it seems that luck is now on our side. Indeed, and now... Indeed, and now most of those rotten bandits are gone. <laughs> the time has come for us to rule this universe. Okay, so it's some brand new... Okay, so it, it seems like 7-3 was a part of a whole legion of other beings like his own. And he was stolen, therefore used how he was used, probably got locked up in the galactic, you know, patrol prison at some point. And then, yeah, and like, and now he's, you know, he's stronger than before. All right, so let's see. So now this is what, this is, this is the dude from the, the preview image who's flying in. Is that ship right, Oatmeal? Wow. Correct, Granola, but do be careful because there could be many on board. So Granola and Oatmeal. Oatmeal is his uh is probably like his freaking uh spaceship talking to him. Gotcha. Prepare to provide support. Roger that. So Granola looks like a Tapion kind of character. Well, what was that? We've been boarded by an intruder. What the S send the guards. So the guards pull up, they start shooting. We got the guns flaring. Ooh, we got zapped stunned. Ah, no, no, not so fast. Ooh, they all got stunned. Ooh, interesting. Okay. The intruder isn't stopping. Damn it. Activate the Og Sol uh, the OG soldiers. All of them. <gasps> Don't tell me there's a bunch of, like, a bunch of seven threes. Oh my god, I was right. That's crazy. The OG soldiers, they're finally here. Those I see. Damn, but they're all like all naked. That's crazy. So, which one's the target? Run a scam, oatmeal. Currently scanning. That's OG seven two I, not the one we want. Oh my God! So there could be more than just seventy three of them. Ooh, my man just hit him with the two fingers snap. Broke the crystal and he was done. So that's the key. He already knows he has to, he has to take out the crystals and then they're good and then they're they're out. What the hell? OG1, WI, OG20, OG31, OG51. The target is not here. He just took out all these 7-3s already. We, we, I guess we should call them OGs, right? There are more within. This way. Wow. Oh, so they're trying to basically revive... The yeah, there in the middle. That's OG seven three I. All right. Okay. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. All right. So, my next question to you all now is: Granola a friend or foe? Why is he looking for seven three? And what does this mean for you know the this this remaining arc? And how long is this arc gonna be? Because honestly, I know that there's probably going to be people out there that are going to feel like this is an in-betweener. This is not going to be as long. But it, it's it's not like we'll really know until, you know, it kind of starts. I mean, for, for crying out loud, we thought the moral arc was going to end way before we anticipated it to actually end. When it actually ended, which was literally a chapter ago. So it ended in November of 2020. And here we are starting off the brand new chapter or the brand new arc, which 
Um, I believe there won't be a new one in January from what I last heard that they're actually the uh, chapter 68 won't be coming out until uh, February if that's still intact. Right. Um, but yeah, as far as everything that's been playing out so far, I really wonder because like he's destroying all of the OGs right now. Right. But there has to be there's a clear cut reason as to why he wants to get to the actual 7-3 because he might seem like he's a good guy. He's taking out all of the OG clones and whatnot. And he might seem like he wants to, uh, you know, destroy the, the one that he's looking for. But what if they pull a plot twist on some, you know, type of stuff like that? And it ends up being on some kind of he wants whatever kind of power that he has for himself or you know something along those lines so i mean we're gonna have to wait and see but so far uh i i the, the thing that really got me surprised and uh you know really shocked for this for this week's or this month's chapter is the fact that miris got brought back to life um, so, I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting and, you know, I guess we have, we have Supreme Kai to thanks for that. So he, he essentially was, it was the one who got this dude's life back. And again, like I said earlier, I really do wonder what Miris' role now is going to be and if he's going to still be around. I mean, the Galactic Patrol has kind of played some kind of a role in the overall story of Dragon Ball. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm also kind of... Happy to see Oob um, so early on before end of Z. But yes, like I also mentioned at the beginning of the video, please make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you already are, unsubscribe, resubscribe. So that way you guys do get all of the alerts. Hit the bell. So that way you guys all get all the alerts as to when I upload. Because I will definitely be uploading a video on a matter that pertains to Dragon Ball in the very near future. It's just a short explanation video to help... Uh, a lot of you guys realize what is actually going wrong with this franchise. So again, guys, let me know all your thoughts and comments about this chapter. What do you like about it? Um, are you excited for this next arc? Or do you want them to just move on to the end of Z so we can get forward and seeing what the next step of, you know, Dragon Ball content is? Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description. As always, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay clean, stay fresh, and stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.